Hello, everybody. I'm DS2Can, and welcome back to the world of dragons and Minecraft and stuff. Well, I built myself a nice, comfy little platform on the side of Echo Liz's house. I hope she doesn't mind too much. I've made myself a bed, little archway so I don't get rained on. Crafting the, all the stuff I had with me, you know, crafting table, furnaces, chest, and I made her some stone tools and a, a sword, of course, because I don't want her to, you know, get murdered the second we leave the tree. So it's bright and early morning. Um, let's go see how she's doing. <gasps> oh, look at the melons! Oh, good morning, Liz. Good morning. They grew overnight. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? This is wonderful. I've been waiting for these to grow for weeks and weeks and weeks and <laughs> weeks. It's just taken so long. And then, oh, look up here. We have some, uh, some more building. Um, uh, yeah, this, I built this when, while you were sleeping. I, I I was thinking that we were going to need a little more space, and I needed some space to put my stuff too. So I built myself a bed, and I, just, I saw some sheep down there, so I got some wool. Built a bed, they got furnaces, and a crafting table. But um, I, I hope you don't mind. It's I just wanted to put something here so I could have a place too, away from the monsters. But look, yeah, I got you some stone tools so that we could go straight into the mine. That's wonderful, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And I guess better out here than in my house, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You snore louder than a hippo. Whatever, I could hear you all the way down at the base of the tree, so... Uh, pfft. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um... Let's... Why don't you come over there down to the base of the tree and meet my faithful steed? Okay. You two haven't been formally introduced yet. I think that he would be happy to meet someone quite like you. He's He's got a bit of a temperament, so uh, don't stick your hands too close to his mouth or any bits that you don't want bitten off, okay? Thank you. Oh, here he, he is. He bites. Uh, he bit me a few times. But I was... Well, I, he didn't like the saddle, so... But Cletus, this is Echo Liz, and Echo Liz, this is Cletus. Hello, Echo Cletus. Cletus. Where'd you get him from? Uh, I got him from the north, the north end area. There were some, uh, you know, spruce trees and hilly, you know, areas, a uh, nice hilly biome. Oh! Uh, uh, hey! Oh! Okay. <laughs> 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 I guess he likes me. Um, yeah, I never seen him do that before. Cletus, Let somebody ride him on the first meeting. Cletus, hey buddy. Hey buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. Friend guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, you want to craft dinner? Oh, craft dinner, eh? I would love a craft dinner. It's about time somebody had one. Indeed. What? What? What, what just? Uh, um, um, uh, I'm, I'm lost. He's northern? He's northern. I was speaking donkey. Uh, um. You told me you found him in the north. He's, he's a donkey. Okay, this is, this is strange. I'll I get it for you. Don't you worry, Cletus. Animals, but, uh, okay, well. I guess it'll come in handy. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get to the village. All right, all right. Whoa, wait a minute. Um, okay, never mind. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take Cletus with us. Aww. Where's the? There we go. And let's go. Okay, I think this is the shortest ride I've ever had on the Cletus. But let's see if I can get him in here. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh, I can jump. Uh, attempt number one is a fail. Attempt number two. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Cletus, <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't jump for anything, buddy. Um. Huh. It's about time he got off of you, huh, Cletus? God. Uh, sorry, Cletus, but you, you're gonna have to stay here, buddy. I can't get you through the gate, and you can't jump over the gate. So, I'll just, I'll just leave you here by the village. Oh. <sighs> you wanna see the sign that I made? Sure. What, 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 what is this? It's right there. Um, this, how did you, you made the sign for the village, right? So, the name of the village is... Chicago. It's Chicago. Right. And I'm a banana. It is. It's Chicago. <sighs> God. One bad joke after another. I'm not joking. <laughs> That's what they said their name was. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's, oh, let's just go. Hello, Butcher. Well, uh, I think he's looking for something. He's a bit of preoccupied right now. Um... So where's the mines? Do you, do you know where the mines are? Uh, yes. They should be over this way. Yes, over here. Okay. Our goal, I think right now, is to get you some better supplies and get some better armor for the both of us so we can stand have a fighting chance in the desert at the present moment. Oh, another sign, look! Beware all who entered ye old ass mine. Oh. Um, I wonder what that's all about. You know what? I don't care. Oh. We're, we're going in. See, I see some coal right here if you, you want to grab that. I'm going to go ahead and start digging into the mine a little bit. Because we kind of need to get you some good supplies here. So, how long have you been in this village, exactly? Well, I left the jungle about ten months ago. And it took me a long time to travel to the village. So, I'd say at least I've been gone from the jungle for a year. Oh, wow. That's a long time. So, since you've come to the village, have you met anybody interesting? Well, I met the old farmer, Farmer Ted. Farmer Ted? Oh, what was he like? Oh, wait a minute. You mean the farmer that you stole crops from? I told you I liberated those crops. Mm -hmm. You liberated them from what? Hungry chickens? I liberated them from me because I was so hungry. Oh, right, right. And after Farmer Ted discovered me, at first he was very angry, but then when I told him my story, he said he would help me. I guess a monkey's gotta do what a monkey's gotta do. So, what, what kind of deal did you strike with him? Well, he said that I could have some of his crops if I assisted him during um, harvest time. And in return, he taught me how to cultivate the crops, how to grow some things. The only thing he didn't know how to grow were my melons, because he said he'd never seen them before. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's kind of cool. Um, wait a minute, you, you saw him how long ago? Well, he got sick a while back, and I haven't seen him since maybe two turns of the moon two months ago. Wow, that's a long time. I wonder how he's doing. We should stop in once we get done here. I know. I was planning on it before we left just to say goodbye. Yeah, it's going to be a long trek into the desert, you know, because we may not find anything. We, we might be lost for a while, so... I mean, all we have to go on is a piece of sandstone, and in the desert there's sand everywhere. You know? Alright, I'm looking for iron at the moment. All I've found is coal. How about you? I haven't found any either. Let's see. I'll start looking over here. Are you finding anything? No. Me no. neither. No. Oh, I found some iron! Oh, nice, nice. Get as much- whoa, shoot. Whoa, shoot. Um... What happened? I fell down a hole. Into lava? Okay. Oh, I found iron down here. Lots of iron here. There's like a little room down here that I dropped down into. That's... And I found a cave. A large, large cave. Um, 
Holy bejesus. Are you you're down here too? Uh -huh. Oh, there you are. Cool, cool. That red stuff, save that for me because you need an iron pickaxe to mine that. Oh, okay. Um, I found some more lapis over here along with some more redstone. Awesome. This is... <laughs> this is great. This is by far the best area I've found yet. It's been a while since I've been able to find a place that would allow me to gather ample supplies for a long journey. Oh, oh. Uh, there goes my pickaxe, and I do not have another one. So, well, I found some iron, so we could turn that into more, couldn't we? Yeah, um, I'm gonna go back to... Ba I got some iron with me, a couple iron ingots, just enough for another pickaxe. Where did you go? I'm just... I, I'm mining some coal right here. Oh, gold. Don't forget to light up the place. Oh, creeper, behind you. Oh, help! I can't. Well, I can. Hold on. Don't move. Okay. Well, he's toast. Well, maybe we should leave now. I think. You, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's leave. Um. I hear something scary. Yeah. There's like a little cave system, like halfway down the mine shaft. I'm not. Sure, but I don't think they can get us. Run! Hey guys. Hey you. Whoa, they got a jukebox. Wonder what's on it. Oh, there's there's a disc in it. Wanna wanna play? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Their music Sweet. is so strange. It's very relaxing. I, uh, hey guys, I wonder if, well, the butcher, nah, butcher's not very good. Farmer, 18 wheat for an emerald. Alright, so what are, what are we doing? I found a trap door over here. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. So, With a chest. Um, it has a piece of orange wool in it. What's that all about? Orange wool. You know, the old farmer said something about orange wool in the desert. He oh. said, if you find orange wool, you found a pyramid. Huh. Really? Okay. Um, so we got, I guess we just look for orange wool. Yes. And a pyramid. And he said in the pyramids you could find all sorts of interesting things. Cool, cool. So I think it's I think it's daytime now. I think our next clue is at that pyramid in the desert. Okay. But let's go say goodbye though. Okay. Um, do you think we gotta we gotta make your tools and stuff? So we need to go back to the house. Okay. Well, we'll go back to the house and then we'll say goodbye. Alright, let's go. I guess we're gonna go say goodbye to old Ted. Alright. Do you wanna go back into the mine? Or do you just wanna go into the desert? We have. We have some pretty decent supplies between the two of us, so we should be okay. So where is this house? Well, the gardener's house is this way, by the farms. Okay. This one. Ted, hello. Ted? Hey buddy, hey, how you doing? Where are you? What, is he up here? Uh, that's a negatory. Nothing up there. I don't know. He's usually home, and I didn't see him outside. There's now something just... odd about his floor. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, um, what's... 
What's that? Um. Whoa. Do you see that? It, it looks. Uh, is this Ted? Because it looks like somebody was buried here. Um. That's creepy. What is leather rack? Uh. No. Netherrack? Please, you, you didn't say Netherrack. That's what it says. It says you did it's, not say Netherrack. It says it's Netherrack. Oh, no. Tell me what you know. Okay, um, where should I start? A long, long time ago, my people and I, as in, as in just me, I... I was building a construct out of obsidian, and I noticed something odd about it. It happened to glow when I finished its construction, so I, I went to touch it, and it transported me to a to this. You wouldn't believe this. It's a it's like another dimension, another world, filled with fire and brimstone and these little cloud looking things that shoot fireballs at you. It's just freaking horrible. And the inhabitants of this land are they're they're like zombies. But they're they're also like pigs and they're also like people. They're like zombie pig people. I don't I don't know what you would call them. I don't believe this. Well, that was the last place that I had seen Netherrack. And if this truly is a piece of Netherrack, then that's where we need to go next, after we find the pyramid. Well, you take a look. You tell me. Duh! Uh, keep the keep it away from me. Keep it away from me. Just get just just get rid All of right. it. Uh, just hurry up, get rid of it. Is it dangerous? That's it's painful. Painful memories. Oh, I lost quite a few tail feathers in that area. <laughs> oh, poor Ted. Oh, good morning, Liz. Good morning. It's kind of cramped in here. But... It was. Yeah, I, I know it's quite uncomfortable, but let's. Uh, I think we, we we're gonna get some fresh air now. It's morning. Oh. Thank God, nothing being closed oh. in with a toucan. Fresh air. All right. So, the, did you notice something odd about the skeleton? Well, um, his head looked different. Well, obviously, because he's dead, but... Well, no, I mean, it looked all squished. Well, um, you noticed something odd about this? I, I noticed it last night while I was studying these remnants. Uh, tell me I'm not going crazy, but doesn't that look like an arrow? Well, now that you mention it, yes. Okay, well, if that's an arrow pointing this direction... That way. Go that whoa. Which is straight into the desert. I see a desert there. Or the beginnings of one. Wow, I didn't realize we were that close. Okay, well. Let's go. That makes it easy. Or easier. We're going this way. I need to get I need to get Cletus. Remember? Yes. I'm not quick to forget about him. <laughs> Well, I think he'll be rather happy to see you too. Don't forget to close the gate, by the way. Okay, um... Hey, Cletus! Hey, buddy. I'll grab a piece of fence so I can tie him up, and... Well, off we go. I guess we go this way. Yo. But the wrong way, this way. We're going to the desert, right? It's just right over here. I know. You, you okay? Alright, cool. 
All right, let's go.